And I get this email, she got arrested, and they put her in jail, and then all these students from the, um, I'm, I'm collapsing time real quick, yeah. and uh, from the University of Nairobi had to run to UNEP headquarters because they were getting beaten up. I said, what is this, this forest in Nairobi? So I called Julia Butterfly, who was in a tree, and I said, I'm going to Nairobi. I'm real scared because the, bomb, the uh, U.S. Embassy just got bombed. And um, I actually, you know, did my little, uh, not life insurance, what's that called? Uh, last one. <laughs> yeah, and I was the mayor of, of um, Fort Bragg signed it before I got to the point. Aww. 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 Because I didn't know what to get into, you know? Yeah. So anyway, but I knew I was going to be okay because we were going to go oh, be with a bunch of uh, kick-ass women. <laughs> so anyway, I called Julia and I said, wouldn't it be great if they could hook you up and, and Wangari, it was Wangari Mathai, and yeah, I, we yeah, did this um, uh, seminar for the Gulf Nation delegations who were there about the importance of forest to human settlements. And sure enough, we, it, it happened. And they mm -hmm. piped Julia in mm -hmm. from Luna and Wangari and I did... Mm -hmm. The presentation and the cost to for came himself, um, and then uh, he gave our speeches to 250 members of the world press, and then they printed them up, and then to the um, 200 members of the nation delegation. But while we're meeting with Wangari, she, you know, there was this women from Bosnia, from Palestine, all these women for our contingent there. And she asked us to do an action with her in the <coughs> forest. And she said, you know, we all could get beaten up. And, you know, we said, oh, you know, we'll be fine. That morning on the bus, because we're on a little bus, is a little bus taking us around, because you can't do public transit in Nairobi. It's too dangerous. Mm -hmm. And I got up on the bus, and I said, we're all going to see her at noon, right? Nobody said anything. I said, we made a promise. We'll see you at noon. Everybody was there. The U U UN, uh, U.S. delegation came to send us off because they couldn't attend with us. Yeah, they they to, the U.S. delegation wanted to come, but they couldn't because of diplomatic protocol, but they were there to send us off. The U.N. Um, sent two U.N. observers with us, and we met in the middle of Nairobi with all these people and, you know, Greenbelt movement and this movement and with their whistles and... And I get in the car with Mongari, and you know we're going in the back way. We snuck into the back way of Kuroa Forest, mm -hmm. and the militia and everybody else is at the front, and we've got a bus. Okay, the bus gets the all the villagers are going, "What the hell?" Is <laughs> because there's all these people. And then Mongari turns around, and she looks at me, and she says, "You know, we could really get beat up." And said, mm -hmm. "Don't go there." And all of a sudden. It's yeah. Oh, world press crew comes, oh. I'm hurting my cats, and she says, we're going to be okay, I said, yeah. <laughs> so we got in, we planted our trees, came out to the front gate, Yay. and all Red. the, you know, we had the huge press crew there. I ran to the first guy with the big stripes, while Juan Gary got the shovel, and all the other women with the trees, and I just said, I'm so-and-so from USA. I'm here to plant trees for peace. Will you help us? And all the cameras were rolling. Uh -huh. And they didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And they had their, you know, whatever. And it was like chaos. Uh -huh. But we big, pulled the biggest coup for her. And it made news all over Africa. Wow.